This video is going to be about uh, drip irrigation. I do a little bit of uh, different type of watering depending on where it is on the property. Now this was, I grew some broom corn earlier this year and after I harvested it, which you can see little seeds from it coming up, looks like grass in the field, but uh, <clears throat> I decided why not put some pumpkins out here. I figured the grandkids would enjoy these in the fall so uh, I decided to break out a, one of my drip irrigation hoses now it already had drip emitters that were uh, spaced out for a certain distance for other plants but I decided to go ahead and, and use them some of them were ideally at the right spacing which gave me a, a good six foot between my plants so I just laid out my hose and then I planted my seed right there at the drip emitters. Now I have this system right now, it's running where it comes on every 12 hours for four hours at a time. Uh, it might be a little bit too much water for right now. It was good when the seeds were needing to germinate, it needed to stay wet. But uh, after, after it gets come up it doesn't need as much right at the moment but pretty soon it's going to need quite a bit especially uh, when it gets to the fertilizer below these plants now I put about a half a cup of fertilizer uh, about six inches below my seeds so once they uh, germinated and then the roots got down then they take off now I have four different types of watermelons out here to uh, to take and uh, give me a good variety. I have some some Big Macs which is normally somewhere around a hundred pound pumpkin which is kind of large but you know bigger the better sometimes you just want to see what comes up. And then I have some jack-o-lantern pumpkins and then I have some small sugar pumpkins and then I have a New England pie pumpkin which should make a good pie. Now I have broom corn coming back up and, and I'll just let it go as it goes. I'll till where I can get but some of it's going to be in here next to the drip line uh, and it'll just come on but I'm sure if anybody's familiar with pumpkins uh, they'll try to just take over it. But what I wanted to talk about too my watering system here, which I haven't added fertilizer yet, but I have this fertilizer injection system in uh, this for lawn and gardens. <coughs> I use this sometimes with my drip system because I can mix like Miracle Grow or something in here. It has a nozzle that's in between the line. And it'll take and uh, in, inject this as it waters, so I can fertilize and don't have to worry. And all this is, all this fertilizer is uh, dripped on, so in the water too, so I don't have to worry about the water getting on the leaves and creating a problem with my uh, plants. A lot of times, when it's hot and it gets directly on the leaves, it it creates a problem. But a drip irrigation system, it's not expensive. The emitters that are on the line are, they're just, let me get things out of the way here organized. They, they just, you perforate a little hole, they snap in, and then they have this, it looks like a valve. It's not really a valve to adjust on this particular style. It's more for cleaning it. Uh, sometimes you'll, on this black tubing, depending on your water source, you'll get algae and stuff and it might uh, not emit as much water as you'd like. But, uh, like I say, just be aware this is another option for, for gardening and, and we'll keep up with these and see how they do this fall.